name is Talia and I'm a student at Union College and I'm going to show you how to make a friendship bracelet. So the materials you're going to need are embroidery thread, a pair of scissors, and also some tape to hold down your bracelet while you're working. Alright, so first you're going to need uh, three to four different colors of string. I'm going to use a pink, a white, a dark gray, and this pretty blue green. And what you're going to do is I like to just measure out the string by uh, measuring it with my arm span. So I'll just take the string and I'll reach my hands all the way out. So you can see, and right where this stops, I'm going to hold it and then I'm going to cut it. And then you're going to do that for all of the string. Um, to make it easy, make sure that all of the strings are the same length. You can take your first string that you cut, grab another color string. I'm going to grab the pink one and then just pull down and keep pulling the thread until you get to where you originally cut the blue one. And now you know, see how these are together? Now I know that I wanna cut this pink string right where that blue string ends. And that way they're gonna be the same length. And I'm gonna do that same thing for the gray and the white string. So now I have all of my, um, my four pieces of string cut, all different colors. And what I'm going to do next is find the halfway point, and I'm gonna do that by lining up the ends and then pulling with my finger to find exactly where the halfway point is. And then I'm gonna take my string and I'm just gonna tie a knot around my finger and just bend it through the hole and pull out that point and create a little knot and that is going to be the start of our bracelet. So just pull tightly. And then you're all set. We're ready to start. So before we begin actually knotting our bracelet, we're going to want to take a little piece of tape that I just ripped and your knotted with the loop um, line of strings. And you're just going to take, take that down right onto the loop, um, right above the knot that we just made. And that's going to make it so you can pull on your string and it stays down. You don't have to worry about it um, being loose. So the next thing you're going to want to do is start by separating um, each of your colors, whether you picked three or four different ones. And you're going to want one of each color on each side. So I'm going to make sure I have, for me, one white string, one gray string, a pink string, and a blue-green colored string on one side and the same on the other. And once you have those sorted out, you're going to want to figure out the order of the colors. Um, and you're just going to line those up. And you're going to want to do that for both sides. All right, so you can see the way I have my uh, strings laid out on both sides. Um, they're the exact same order. So I have pink, blue, white, and gray, and then pink, blue, white, and gray. And there's one color on each side. And I also find that if you start your bracelet on um, the corner of a hard, flat surface, it's very easy to keep the two separated because um, each side of the bracelet can drape down and it just makes it uh, easier for handling. All right, we are ready to begin knotting our bracelet. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to take the first string closest to the top and you're going to hold it up and you're going to want to knot it around the next string in order. In this case, it will be my blue string. So I'm going to bend this around creating, uh, you'll see like a four, a number four, and you're going to want to wrap it around. See, we have created kind of like a knot here, and then we're gonna slide it up the string until it hits the top. And we're gonna do that on the same string one more time. So around, just making a knot around the string, 
the blue string with the pink string and we're gonna slide it up. And that knot is all finished. So we're going to, going to do two knots on each string. Um, so the next string in my order of colors is white. So we're gonna take the pink string again. You're going to wrap it around. I like wrapping around my finger and creating the shape of a four. And then you're going to pull it and just slide it up, creating a knot. And we're gonna do that one more time. Create a knot. I'm doing four colors, so I have one more string left. So I have my gray string, and now I'm gonna wrap my pink string. I'm gonna wrap a knot around the gray string. So same thing, create the number four, which you should be able to see um, when you're doing it. And you're gonna pull that pink string through, creating that knot. I'm just gonna slide it up, and then we're gonna do one more. Wrap that around and slide it up. Then we're going to move on to the other side. So we have the same order of colors. And so again, I'm gonna take the pink string. I'm gonna wrap a knot. I'm gonna make a knot uh, around the blue green string. This time it's going to look like a backwards four. So you're gonna wrap that around to make the knot and slide it up to the top until it stops. And you're going to knot it around the blue string one more time. And there's that. Then the next color in our order, for my order, is white. So we're gonna knot it around that, making the backwards four. Knot it around, and then you're just gonna slide it up. We're gonna do that again. Just made a knot and I'm sliding it up. And now I'm on to my last string in this color, which is gray. And I'm gonna knot, uh, wrap my pink string around my finger, create that knot and slide it up. And then we're gonna do that one more time because we do two knots on every string. And I'm sliding it up. All right, we're almost done with the first step. So, now we have two pink strings that are in the middle because we just brought them in this way. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take both of the pink strings and you're gonna knot them together. So we're gonna just knot them together like you're tying your shoe, slide it up. And then you're gonna do that one more time because we always double knot. And there you go. And that's the first step. And now you're going to repeat that for all of the string colors that you have. So I'm gonna do the exact same steps um, now with my blue string, which you can see. So I'm gonna take the other side of my blue string and the next string in line is the white string. And so I'm going to create that number four. And then I'm gonna take the blue string, grab it from under, slide it up to make the knot. And we're gonna do the, that again, just knot it one more time. Slide it up. We're moving on to now the gray string, because that's the next one in line. Create the number four, grab the string from under, slide it up, and one more time. And slide it up. And now we have one more string left. Now we have the pink string as our last string. So you're gonna take your blue string, create the four, knot it around and slide it up. And we one more time, knot it, slide it up. Again, we're gonna go to the next side and do the exact same thing. Grab, I'm grabbing my blue string. I'm knotting it, creating that backwards Number four, uh, knotting it around my white string and sliding it up. And again, knotting it, creating a backwards four and sliding it up. Then I'm going to the next string in line, which is my gray string, creating the backwards number four, grabbing the blue thread, 
creating that knot, sliding it up one more time to double knot it. All right, and now we're back to the pink string and I'll do the same for the pink string. Created that backwards number four and now I'm sliding that knot up to the top and one more time, slide it to the top. And again, now we have both of these same colored string in the center and now we're going to knot them together. And so I'm just knotting them and I do it twice. You can knot in either direction, it doesn't matter. Um, I typically like making the number four rather than the backwards four, but you can do either. And I'm just pulling that, making sure it's tight. And now you're going to keep repeating that pattern and you'll start to see a sort of zigzag shape. So I'm gonna keep repeating those exact same steps with all of the um, outside strings. So next I'll do my white tie it around all the strings and then I'll do my gray and then I'll, I will be back to my pink color. And I'll keep repeating that until the bracelet is long enough um, to go around my wrist. So I am just going to do that right now. Um, feel free to rewind and watch any of those steps back and um, I will see you guys when I have made a lot of progress on my bracelet. All right, so I've made some progress on my bracelet. As you can see, that zigzag pattern is starting to form. Um, but I wanted to show you what the finished product should look like. This is another bracelet I've made with the same um, type of pattern, just different colors, also four colors. And um, this one I made to fit my wrist, so I should be able to wrap it around and tie it in a knot and have it fit. And so make it as long as you would like. And whenever you're done and you're at the length that you want, just tie two knots just to secure it, cut off the rest as we did here, and you're all done.